Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're doing some more clusters. I love clusters. These are going to be music clusters, but first let's have our shout out to Billy, Michelle, Lucy, Lacey, and Joyce. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, I wanted to show you the stamp that I used. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that stamp. So I used the Gather Twigs and I stamped some music page. So I stamped these going this way and I stamped these going this way. And yes, I have a thing about keeping music going the right way. I guess it's because I played music, so it's really important to me. But anyway, enough of that. So here is my base. It's just a piece of cardstock. And I am going to go ahead and start laying down some glue. It says fabric tack because I have some coffee dyed rectangles. I have some cotton squares and rectangles. Everything's been frayed. I have some coffee dyed and painted doily right here. And I have some pink bling and of course the stamps. Oh, and I also have whoops, a little bit of net right there. Now, no, I don't want that net on there. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. So now let's go ahead and start putting our fabric down on our base. I like a base because when you go to put this on your journaling pages, it, you have something to glue onto, and I just find it to be very nice. Let's see. I think I want to lift this back up, and I think I want to put this white one underneath. I want this dark one to show just a little bit more. There we go. It's not over quite far enough. Well, I kind of blundered this up, right? <laughs> Let's start again, guys. Let's put the white on. Had to change a heart there. White on, and then let's go ahead and put the dark coffee on. There we go. I don't know. I just wanted it that way. Then I would like to lay a little bit of our doily on and I think I want my doily to go this way and a little bit of net and I want it to be down below here. I think this is how I want this to go. I want it to kind of stick out a little I think. Maybe like that. Now I'm going to use one that's going this way and I think I need a little bit more uh, lace right along here. Yes, I like that. That's pretty. All right, let's go ahead and put some glue onto our stamp. It has been backed. Actually, I think I might do it this way. Yeah, I think I like it this way better. Okay. All right, now I think maybe I might like a little bit more lace right here. Get my scissors and just get that a little chop and place it right here. Okay, so here we are. This is what it's looking like. Now, I am going to put some pink bling. Now, I have made a couple of other ones that I'm going to show you what they look like with other colors of bling. So you can use whatever color of bling you want, or you could use you could use 
colored lace if you wanted or a colored doily to bring in the color if you wanted color. So it does not have to be all cream if you don't want it to be. You can jazz it up. There it went over there. Jazz it up by adding the bling. Okay, that just stuck to my finger. Come on now. Oh, good heavens. It's because I have so much glue on my fingers. There, that's much better. Now let's put a few down here. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more. I think I'm going to do more down at the bottom. We can do that. We can make the bottom a little heavier. Oh, right. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to place it right on here. And I'm going to show you. This one is gold. This one, pearls. And this one is the pink bling. And so this one's going this way, and these two are going straight up. Oh, you guys, I've had great fun, and I love clusters. And I hope to see you in my next video. I'll see you then, guys. Bye now.